Okay, welcome. This is a demo of Hocket 2, um, a Max for Live MIDI effect. The 2 in this case denotes uh, that it's an update to the original Hocket. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be going over all of the basic features, um, but I'm also going to be getting into all of the new stuff that's been added. So if you're one of the OG Hocket users, you can feel free to skip ahead to that um, or just hang out. Also cool. So this is Hocket 2 right over here. Um, I'm going to send some MIDI into the channel. And there we go. So um, to go over Hocketing real quick, um, it's when a, uh, a single melody or a sequence of MIDI notes in this case is uh, shared amongst multiple different MIDI instruments or voices. Um, and I have a group here with eight different channels. Each channel has an instance of Hocket on it as well. It looks different because it's in receive mode. Like that, you switch back and forth. Um, and all of these channels are sharing the uh, MIDI information that's going on on this channel. So we can increase the, uh, the number of voices here. So the, uh, the sequence of notes is just staying the same here, um, but the timbres are changing because it's being divided um, up into these five different instruments now, and we can keep going. So uh, switch the direction here if we want. And uh, we can choose to go in a random direction. Which will just uh, choose one of the voices that hasn't played yet. Um, but the uh, order is random every time. That is, uh, that's the basic functionality of Hocket right there. So with that, let's uh, get into the new stuff. Okay, so moving on to the new stuff, the first thing you're gonna notice is that uh, Hocket 2 is just one device instead of two, and you can switch between the two different modes by pressing this button here, like I said earlier. Um, and then uh, we have a new direction mode here, which is Pendulum. Uh, pendulum counts upwards and then right back downwards when it's assigning voices, which sounds like this. And then there is a button here, which expands a tab on the side uh, with our first fully new mode, which is repeat mode, um, which assigns uh, multiple notes to um, each voice in a row, like this. And then you can control the amount of voices with the knob here. So the next new mode is ASR mode um, here, which stands for analog shift register. Um, I'm gonna try and explain what an analog shift register is uh, briefly. It's a technique that was uh, developed by Surge um, in probably the 70s with a synth module that they made um, that would sample control voltage pitch at every uh, gate pulse and the first voice always plays the current pitch while um, each new gate pulse will pass that pitch on to voice two while the new note is played by voice one and so on and so forth. 
Um, let me see if I can play some notes in here and demonstrate that. So um, there's two different directions you can choose between here, forward and reverse in this mode. Um, and you can hear that uh, basically what it's doing is creating a chord out of the last, um, in this case, five notes that you played. analog shift register um the uh the final thing here is that we now have these three different channels a b and c and these are kind of a, a master channel and it allows you to use multiple different instances of hocket in send mode uh, sending up to three different uh melodies to three separate groups of instruments in uh, receive mode. So if you want to go real wild and start sending lots of notes out to lots of different destinations all at the same time, that is now possible for you. And that is Hocket 2. Thanks so much for watching and for hanging out, and I will see you next time. Thank you.